do you know google provides a free tool where you can research your keyword you can get to know how the keywords are trending which keyword you should target and you will get all the data free of cost you must be using paid keyword tools which provide say keyword difficulty all those bits which are required however google has a tool which will help you out for free so in today's video i am going to provide a tutorial around one of the most powerful tool which google provides to everyone for keyword research and it is completely free the tool name is google trends you must have heard about google trends a number of times however you must not be knowing how to use that google trends for keyword research so in in today's video i will provide a full tutorial on how you can use google trends to do your keyword research and how you can increase your traffic and how you can make sure your blog ranks for the right keywords and you are on top of trending things because trending is something that will make you rank faster it won't be any old content it won't be a keyword difficulty with a zero value if that's the formula everyone will say you that find a keyword with a keyword difficulty of zero one or two and rank it if that was the case then everyone would have ranked okay so it's the trending topic it's the new topic where you will rank let's jump onto the screen and please make sure you like the video as it it has taken a lot of effort from my side as well to create this uh, tutorial and i hope this video will be helpful to you all in creating your blog topics so let's jump onto the screen so step number 1 you have to open googletrends.com what's the url trends.google.com okay just type in you will see trends.google.com is open you can see my country is uk you can choose the country uh, as you like in whichever country you are in UK, US. You want to find any trending topic, you will find it. Now let's deep dive into it step by step. So let's. This is the home button basically. Over here, whatever country you are in, it would by default show that country name, and then so you can explore whatever is trending, and you will see some of the trending topics over here itself. Why is England FC trending? So all those keywords, you know. now what you can do is you can type the keyword here or better way is go to explore so once you click on explore now over here you can type in the keyword so say your topic is around ai or maybe wordpress so let's put say wordpress or let's say movie let's put a movie okay now i will press enter so you will see after i press and enter Uh, you can have a comparison as well so what this compare will mean you can compare a keyword like which keyword is trending just to give a brief on the below bar so over here it is the country code uk so you can search for worldwide or you can select any specific country so say if you want to search in uk it you can search it if you want to search in us then it will give the us data so you will see the graph is changing this is the time frame to which google trends can provide the data so from 2004 till now the data can be provided for this keyword and you can see the trend is kind of increasing day by means year on year from 2004 however that much traffic might not be there from a google search perspective but this is a percentage data so i will explain this uh, later and then you can select the category so movie normally comes under entertainment and you can either choose a auto if you choose an auto and vehicle you will see the trend might not be trend would be movies related to auto and vehicle and then if you select say arts and entertainment then movie keyword under that category how it is performing so whatever your niche is based on that you can select it and now web search so what you can do is you can use this google trends for image search web search news search shopping wise as well so if you have a e-commerce business you can use it and then you can use it for youtube search so if you press youtube search movie keyword trends might change so you can see in say 2013 people might be searching for movie keyword more on youtube and then in web search the trend is consistent kind of a and say from 2004 i am looking into it so you can look into it say past 12 month 
based on that you can understand okay should i focus on this keyword or not because if if the trend is there you know this is a kind of an evergreen niche and then you can target that now what you can do is you can either export this data as well and at the bottom it will give the region wise data as well so if you are looking for say something has been changed in one of the us states you can get to know like arakanas has a 100% uh, search so what this percentage is it's a sample uh, sample data that uh, google captures and based on that sample data it says that from 1 to 7th jan 64% of the searches were related to this movie keyword now what it would mean is like uh, the number is 100 that means it is the highest search kind of a keyword and uh, it, it's uh, if it is 60 70 then it is kind of a high trending kind of a keyword only so over here if i put another keyword say web series so web series are also trending from a internet perspective but you will see the web series trend is less than one so people might not be searching exactly for a web series keyword people are more searching for a movie keyword now it can be a long tail movie keyword as well where a movie is written so it might not only be movie it can be uh, a keyword having a movie as well so it can help you in planning your uh, niche so this is where google trends will come into place now i will give you an interesting keyword so movie is also termed as film now you don't know in which countries film would be searched so you can see film is very less popular in us now let's change the country from us to uk and let's put category as all category now you will see in uk film and movie are a similar trending keyword so it's not necessary that one if if in us some keywords are being searched then it is always the uh, kind of a uh, only word other countries might have their different version of word so if you talk about any other english country say let's talk about switzerland so you will see film is more searched than movie okay so film has more weightage in switzerland as compared to movie keyword so that is how you can research and that is how you will see which region has what keyword which region searches more and you can target your niche based on that so that is one of the best way to start researching around your niche and this is how that explore would help you out now if i go to the bottom and say if i change it to us again for web search only so you will now see state wise data is there you can select the state so if i select uh, one state so it will give the interest for that state and you can uh, then understand okay in uh, which movie is being searched in this uh, area so you will see the related queries so queries related to the movie so sound of freedom movie champions auto movie so you will know what which movie is trending in past 12 months data so either go to past 12 months or you can say past uh, seven days now if you have to research more around for today's topic so then you will know that okay past 12 months there was a different term past uh, seven days it's a different one now what this interest by metro is you can click on the question mark and you can read it out so basically again it's a number where 80 percent of the queries are so a tiny country where 18 percent of the queries are for bananas will get twice the score of a giant country where only 40 percent of the queries are for bananas so it's based on the population as well so you might have to mathematically make sure you understand it however it, it doesn't make much of a difference as you are, you might be targeting a larger niche now what you can do is uh, in the related queries you will see which all keywords are getting searched more so which are on top and which are rising so movie theater is something which is on the top keyword for last seven days however what rising means that these keywords are going up okay and breakout means that they are trending so they are a kind of a trending topic 
so on that basis you can strategize your content now let's change back to the country so we are targeting us now we will see more more changed data so see movie now we know okay this is the trending one what outer space movie can out in 1992 so this is something which is rising so it's a long tail keyword and you might if you use a tool you might not be able to get that keyword okay tool will extract the data tool will get the data in two days their keyword difficulty might not be that clear so that may not help you in getting the right traffic from blogging from day one so this is one of the best way which we normally use it for our keyword research and you can also target it now see another keyword we have put in web series so from web series you will see what all keywords are trending sultan of delhi web series review so again indian keyword so indian population is uh, high so they might be searching on us as well however you can see which of the following would be an example of a, okay it's a very long keyword so how it is related to web series but it might be google has misunderstood on what we are trying to ask so that is something you might have to refine it then on a film so you can see davis of film night now film is not that popular in us so if you change the country to uk you will see much more or switzerland maybe so let's type in switzerland okay so in switzerland you will see web series i don't know the keyword might not be recognized but see over here the movie names are there so ravage film so you know that if if you write about ravage film it might be searched more in switzerland as compared to us okay so that is how you can also target based on country as well and these are high cpc countries and you will get a higher income in case you have adsense as an only source in your blog and it will help in growing your income so this is more or less around explore now let's go to trending now so what is trending now let's try to understand it so trending now is something where you don't have to explore the topics or you don't have to explore the keyword trending now will give you the idea so with trending now you can take the idea and then you can explore as well so what what methodology you can follow is you can go to trending now first and then go to explore now in trending now you can see two tabs daily search trend and then there is a real time search trend so daily search trend is kind of a last 24 hours whatever is trending in uk so english football england football is trending england friday the 13th so friday the 13th is a kind of a, a day that's why it is trending then in, as, as you know world cup is going around so football is very trending wilco is going to back online so you know these are trending news now if you go to real time it might be bit of a change so you will see more of a uh, something which is kind of going into the trending stage it is not yet trending but it is a current trend for say past uh, 24 hours within past 24 hours what is the what is the level of searches that is going around 43 minutes ago this is the topic that is trending so you might start writing on that niche and if it's a uk if you go to say australia it might be a different trend okay see so australia referendum something news might be going around and if you have to target say usa you can target usa based on that so you will see every country has their different trends or different search so based on your niche based on your uh, interest you can check whatever you need to write so this is how trending now will help you out now if you click on this trending now you will see related queries over here as well so you can uh, check whatever is uh, related to it and you can target these keywords now these keywords again as i said these are new keywords and this will help you in rank easily in google uh, very early okay so this is trending uh, google trends top button now i have gone back to home again and over here if you click on these three lines 
you will go year in search as well you would know what was trending in 2022 and there can be a topic which will be trending in 2023 based on 2022 so you know in us these were the trending things so people wise you know it won't trend news wise you know okay these are the news which are old now what can trend is mainly say definition i don't know what what people are trying to search for then how to pronounce qatar how to pronounce skive i don't know whether i am pronouncing it correct or not but this is something which will trend in future as well or maybe some cities or uh, countries where a big event is happening people would try to understand how to pronounce that word so it's a kind of a niche as well so you can take a domain name how to pronounce and then just put it and you have to put use some ai tools and you can easily rank quite quickly then recipes so you know okay these recipes were trending it will be trending now as well so you can take some keywords from here as well so this is how uh, year in search will be like now what subscription is all about so i have pressed on subscription so i will press on plus button as said now in plus button you can put a topic so what you have to do is subscribe to receive update about noteworthy events now say if i have a topic called movie okay so movie was a term region wise i can select whichever region i have to target then what i need to know is once a week or once a month so i will say once a week and i will subscribe it now what it will do is it will send me all the trending topics once a week for this keyword so it will come to my email itself now you can go to the other thing is trending search so now this is what you can use it and uh, rather than going to the google trends you will get an email notification and it will be quite quick so you can select the region okay and you can say majority of daily search trend how often as it happens you subscribe it you will get majority of the daily search trend daily as it happens to your mailbox so this way you will get an email in the mobile itself you can check it out then you can also set up a alert for google trends how to do that so what you have to do is go to google.co.uk slash alerts over here you can create an alert if you say if i type in movie okay i'll create show options so it will give me options like at most once a day source should be news blog web where from where you want language whatever you want region you want us uk all how many best results everything and where it has to go and then it will it will again send a message or an email now this is based on uh, the keyword you are trying to do it daily search trend it will give everything you want to understand and this movie search term is about once a week it will give, let you know okay these these were the topics that were searched as part of movie search term so you have to create everything you might have to create an excel or some sort of a process within your ecosystem and you have to identify which keywords you need to target it out so this is a simple tool which you can use it easily there are no factors that you have to select and it is more of a research which you can do it which will help you in driving the traffic rather than using a paid tool like SEMrush, Ahref. SEMrush and Ahref and all those tools are more from a backlink perspective Keyword research wise, if someone says you do uh, Ahref is saying this, SEMrush is saying this, that's an old keywords. Okay, now if you have to search for old keywords, you can do on those tools as well or you can use Google Trends as well. As you know, it has a data from 2004. So you can use it for free of course. Why you have to pay $120, $150 for a tool who also uses Google only to get the data. Okay, most of the paid tools take a service from other system who provides the data and they just display it in a uh, flashy manner where you might see okay i can understand it easily but the core is uh, google it's google where you want to get your search from so try to explore google trends more and uh, it will help you out in getting your blog successful as you might already know i am doing a 90 day challenge for one of my new blogs 
and we are using Google Trends only and it is helping us in writing newer contents. Now the benefits of using Google Trends is that you can get massive traffic very early. Your site authority can be built automatically. So benefit number one, early traffic. Benefit number two, site authority gets increased. Benefit number three, auto backlinking. If your site authority increases, if your site is ranking number one, there will be news channels who will create a backlink which will make your site better or more powerful very easily. Number four, your content might go to Google Discover and Google News, which will be again a bonus where your traffic might come without any link building exercise. Benefit number five, you can do the keyword research by geography, by state, by city, and it will be easier if you are doing a local SEO, you can easily understand, okay, this is where I have to go for. Benefit number six is you can categorize your keywords. So there are a number of categories already mentioned. So if your niche is say entertainment, you can target entertainment. If your niche is say blogging, you can use WordPress, etc. And the last Last but not the least you can use the you can use the search intent with the search type so you can basically use YouTube search as well so you might not have seen YouTube search algorithm so it will help you in YouTube search it will help you in Google news search and it will also help in web search along with Google shopping e-commerce business can be benefit as well very much using this tool i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you all and this will help in doing your keyword research easily and i hope you all will be a successful blogger and if you have not yet started the blogging journey then you can start it very easily there are no code solutions available in the market and i have created a full dedicated video on how to start a blog you can check it out in my this channel itself and where you can easily set up your blog and you can start writing your content so i have already created a lot of videos around how to start a blog how you can manage your website what are the things you have to make uh, do it as part of 90 day challenge this is it for today i hope you liked the video so do press the like button if you liked it and do comment in the comment section in case you have any queries from me bye